The Trull House stood at Mayor's Nemesis Hurdle next day, two mile one foot on grade two hurdle, and something I never thought I'd see a three runner race at the Cheltenham Festival. Diva Fandango for Derek Hinton, Eyes of the World Martin Leader, and Princess Kate for David Hooley. Where is everybody else? And oh, incredible. Anyway, away and racing, and. It's Diva Fandango and Princess Kate who are disputing the lead and they get to the first of the eight. Let's hope we don't get too many fallers. Um, and, and this race has, then, has not got three runners in it because horses had to qualify for it or because they're waiting out of it. It's a grade two. It's open to, to, or to, I say to anybody. The only criteria is you've got to be a novice and you've got to be a mare. Now, most people have got a stable with more mares than colts in anyway because traditionally mares do better. You know, they get the get the weight for six allowance, so most people have cotton on that, and there are also more mares only races. So most people's stables got more mares than colts or geldings in anyway. And even if your horse is a three molly, you could have chucked him in this because it's not a handicap. So it's I wonder that one or two people didn't throw something in. I can't believe Joshua Sutherland and Leon Van Rensburg and all them haven't got a two ball novice mare. That they all could have put in, so it's incredible. Really? Maybe half the horses that should have gone in this went in the National Up Flat Race instead. Right, Princess Kate's in the lead, and well clear, and on stables you would expect this one to be a bit of a penalty kick for Princess Kate and David Hooley, but we've seen plenty of surprises this week already. Eyes of the World second. Oh, you luckless commentator as they get over the fourth and Derek Hinton's Diva Fandango is at the back of the three so Princess Kate leading over the fifth and Eyes of the World nearly went there Diva Fandango now moves back up into second it's got a feeling this is the way the race is going to go Princess Kate's going to win and Leave a Fandango and Eyes of the World are going to keep fluctuating between second and third, and the race will be for second place. Princess Kate takes the third last in the lead. Diva Fandango jumped it really well, though, in second, and is now much closer. Eyes of the World is back in third. Got a long run to the final two flights. There's also a long run from the second last to the last as well. There's still six furlongs to go, and only two more flights of hurdles to jump. Princess Kate is the leader. From Diva Fandango in second, Eyes of the World is back in third. And Princess Kate. Diva Fandango now being pulled out to challenge. Eyes of the World is only four lengths of drift, so not totally out of it as they take this second last. They all jumped in okay. Four furlongs to go, one more flight to take. Princess Kate has kicked on again. Diva Fandango just caught a bit flat-footed there in second. Eyes of the World trying to get closer back in third. She in truth might end a little bit further, but it's Princess Kate in the lead. Diva Fandango second. Eyes of the World back in third. They've got two and a half furlongs to go and one more flight to get over. And Princess Kate for David Hulu excels with his hurdlers, but hasn't had a hurdler winner yet at the festival this year. Is in the lead by four. Now Eyes of the World goes into second. Diva Fandango is in third. They're both closing on the leader as they come to the final flight, but she jumps it really well in the lead, Princess Kate, and that's probably going to put the race to bed. They race into the final furlong. It's Princess Kate from Diva Fandango and Eyes of the World, and Princess Kate is hanging on, and she's not stopping. Eyes of the World is trying to close, but isn't going to get close enough, and it's going to be Princess Kate that takes it for David Hooley, Eyes of the World second, and Diva Fandango third, so a major surprise of a three-runner race at the Cheltenham Festival did not give us a surprise in the result as David Hooley is right up there going for the championship this season takes it with Princess Kate Eyes of the World second for Martin Lidham and Diva Fandango for Derek Hinton was back in third.